正会。Rebirth of the malicious empress of military lineage, Chapter 147, Person who break flowers off as presents in the Yan King Lane, in the residence of the Qin Imperial family. Even though the Qin country was better off than the Ming Qi, it was not as high as the Great Liang who could buy the entire street of residences. They were situated at the entrance of the street. And it was deliberately far away from the residence of Prince Ruai, Princess Ming, and sat in the room with a variety of exquisite snacks and tea in front of her. But she had no mood at all, as her eyes were filled with annoyance. Today, a number of maids were scolded by Princess Ming, and without rhyme or reason, and no one knew what had angered her. Is there still no news at Zi Chang Wu's end? Princess Ming and asked her servants. That person shook their head with a bang. Princess Ming and violently smashed the cup in front of her onto the ground and angrily said, "Useless people!" The surrounding people were all accustomed to Princess Ming and's craziness and dared not even breath loudly. Princess Ming and felt extremely annoyed and simply got up to walk out to the courtyard. One did not know how Zi Chang Wu and Zi Chang Zhao handle matters. That day they had already snatched Shen Miao from the Shen family's hands. But they delayed in taking actions, and at the end, Shen Miao returned back to the Shen Mansion safely. After knowing that Shen Miao had returned to the Shen Mansion, Princess Ming and almost exploded. She immediately sent someone to pass a message to the Zi brothers, taking her anger out on them. Zi Chang Wu wrote back to her, indicating that he would inform her of the plans later. On one hand, Princess Ming and had to be on guard against Huang Fu Hao learning of the matter. And on the other hand, because she was on confinement, her heart was frustrated and could only wait in the residence for Zi Chang Wu's news. At the end, this wait became a number of days, and she finally could not hold back and became angry. She planned to have the Zi brothers bear the consequences. There was no one in this world that could live without doing the task that she assigned. Just as she wanted to call someone to look for the Zi brothers. She saw a servant running over at the other end. Seeing that there was no one around, she then secretly handed a letter over to Princess Mingan. Your Highness, this is sent from the second young master of the Zi family. Princess Mingan was stunned, as she did not understand why Zi Chang Wu would dare to take the initiative to send a letter over. She quickly opened it up to read, and after reading it. The frustration on her face disappeared. She then tore the letter up into small pieces before speaking to the palace maid happily. Go and choose a bright and beautiful outfit for Ben Gong, and go and pick some jewelry from the chest. Ben Gong will select carefully. The servants were somewhat doubtful since Princess Ming and did not leave the residence. For whom did she dress up for? Moreover, what was the point of dressing up? Although they were puzzled, everyone dared not to provoke Princess Ming and. And just did according to her words and dress her up according to her wishes. This day passed fairly quickly, as if time was like running water, and the winter night quickly fell. At night, snow started to fall, but it was not a light snow, as the snowflakes seemed to be flying around like goose feathers. The winter nights were bone chilling, and even those night watchers would quickly walk by. The entire Ding capital was silent at Zixi modern timing, 11 p.m. 1 a.m. The Wan Li Lake was very quiet. The restaurant by the Wan Li Lake was open the entire night and was filled with people drinking and having a joy of a time. But there was no one outside the restaurant. Even the windows of brothels were all tightly shut. In such a cold late night, the wind was like knives when blown onto people's faces. Ladies were afraid of the wind outside, and also it would freeze all fine wine, wasting it. In the middle of the Wan Li Lake. Those few pleasure boats had stopped operating. Since it was winter, the surface of the lake froze. Thus, it was not possible for them to move. The pleasure boats were frozen in the middle of the water, making the scene exceptionally depressing. But today, there was someone on the pleasure boat that was frozen in the middle of the lake. Zi Chang Wu sat in the pleasure boat and rubbed his hands restlessly. Perhaps he had a guilty conscience of a thief. Perhaps it was because Zi Chang Zhao had mentioned that Shen Zin's people were still secretly searching, and it had made him somewhat anxious that he did not even bring along a hand warmer and dared not light a fire to warm up. He had wore quite heavily, but it was very cold by the water. And in addition, there has not been a fire in this pleasure boat for days, 
Thus the cold was bone chilling. When Zi Chang Wu looked out of the pleasure boat, there was no one in sight, making him feel a little anxious. Zi Chang Zhao said in the letter, that they would meet in the pleasure boat in the Huan Li Lake in the middle of the night. It was said that everywhere was being searched in the Ding capital, and Xin Zin's spies were everywhere, thus it was not safe outside. Since no one will come to the Huan Li Lake during winter, it would not be seen by others, thus making it safe. At that time, when Princess Ming and see for herself that Shen Miao has been disgraced, Princess Ming'an would definitely be happy about it. The winds on the lake's surface were big and the nearest restaurant by the lake had their windows tightly shut, thus no one would actually notice the commotion over here. The time is right, geographical and social conditions were all favorable. Everything was foolproof. Even if Zi Chang Wu was somewhat unwilling in his heart, Zi Chang Zhao had already arranged everything. Thus Zi Chang Wu could only accept it. It was just that as the time was nearing to Zi Shi, modern timing, 11 p.m., 1 a.m., and there was no one coming, thus he became anxious. Just as he was thinking about it, there were some slight movements outside. Zi Chang Wu's heart was surprised and he opened the window somewhat delightedly. Indeed he saw a figure approaching from afar and the figure was carrying another person. Zi Chang Wu thought that it was definitely Zi Chang Zhao carrying Shen Miao, and sighed in relief as he headed to the bow of the boat to welcome. As that person walked nearer, Zi Chang Wu realized that something was not right. Zi Chang Zhao was not as tall as this person, and the stature was not like him. There was some uneasiness in his heart. Just as he wanted to retreat, the other party lit a torch and a familiar voice rang. Zi Chang Wu, what are you up to? Zi Chang Wu looked over stunned, and saw that the oncoming person was a guard, carrying what looked like Princess Ming'an. Princess Ming'an was extremely displeased. In the letter that Zi Chang Wu gave her, it said to meet at the Wanli Lake late at night at Zi Shi, modern timing, 11 p.m., 1 a.m. The Qin country had favorable climate throughout all the year like spring, so she was not used to the cold during the Ming Qi's winter. Thus she was so cold that she kept sneezing. Fearing that Huang Fu Hao would discover, Princess Ming and could only bring along her own secret guards and left quietly. Against expectations, Zi Chang Wu chose to meet in a pleasure boat, and only let one guard to carry her over and keep the rest outside. Princess Ming and was already extremely delicate, and if it was not because of being able to personally see a good show of Shen Miao who then would neither live or die, she would not have forced herself out. Seeing Zi Chang Wu, her stomach full of anger started bubbling up. Zi Chang Wu said, Why is your Princess Highness here? Zi Chang Wu, have you gone crazy? Princess Ming and said angrily, was not it you who called Ben Gong over to enjoy Shen Miao's ugly state? What kind of nonsense are you saying now? Zi Chang Wu was somewhat blank. Even though Zi Chang Zhao's letter indicated wanting Zi Chang Wu to invite Princess Ming and along to enjoy, so that Princess Ming and temper would be cooled off. But Zi Chang Wu kept a consideration for himself. He feared that if there was an incident midway, it would only be a bad thing if Princess Ming and was pulled in. Moreover, today's matter was not foolproof, and if Princess Ming and came over but Shen Miao was not disgraced, then Princess Ming and would be even angrier. Then what would happen? Thus, Zi Chang Wu did not invite Princess Ming and over, but Princess Ming and still appeared here and said that it was Zi Chang Wu who invited her here. A strong sense of unease appeared in Zi Chang Wu's heart. When Princess Ming and saw Zi Chang Wu's face of puzzlement, she became even more displeased. Zi Chang Wu, are you playing with Ben Gong? This official do not dare. Zi Chang Wu was filled with sweat as he said, it is that this official really did not write a letter to your Princess Highness. When Princess Ming and heard this, she said in anger. Since you did not write a letter to Ben Gong, then explain to Ben Gong why are you here now. Just like the letter indicated, you are here tonight to give Shen Miao an unforgettable torturous pain. So why not tell Ben Gong? Zi Chang Wu was at a loss for words, and his heart was secretly fearful. That letter actually indicated everything that he planned to do, and that was only known to him and Zi Chang Zhao. If this letter was written by Zi Chang Zhao to Princess Ming'an, 
Then why did Xi Chang Zhao do that? He could only say, this official indeed think like this. It is just that Shen Miao is in the hands of this official's younger brother, and this official is waiting for one's younger brother to come. Xi Chang Zhao? Princess Ming and frowned. You brothers are not together. Zi Chang Wu dared not mention the fact that Zi Chang Zhao was missing for a number of days and could only vaguely said, for fear of suspicion, third younger brother and this official act separately. Princess Ming and was not suspicious and asked after some thought, You are saying that Shen Miao returning to the Shen mansion was a trap that Shen Xin and Princess Rong Xin planned together? Is this real? Zi Chang Wu's heart jumped. That is correct. Actually Zi Chang Wu also had some doubts, as all this was only Zi Chang Zhao's side of the story. But now he could only chose to believe Zi Chang Zhao, and Zi Chang Wu had never doubted that the letter on his table was false. After all other than Zi Chang Wu, there was no one under the skies that could mimic Zi Chang Zhao's handwriting. Moreover it was impossible for anyone to know about the secret code that the two brothers used. Princess Ming and rubbed her hands probably because she was unusually cold and shouted at Zi Chang Wu, when exactly is Zi Chang Zhao coming over? Zi Chang Wu had hardship in his heart but was unable to talk about it, third younger brother said that he will come during Zi Shi, modern timing, 11 p.m., 1 a.m., what is the time now? Princess Ming and asked her own guard and the guard answered, it is almost Zixi. The wind and snow were blowing outside and it seemed that they could chill the heart. One did not know why but Zi Chang Wu's heart suddenly became uneasy. Looking at the dark night skies, his heart was beating extremely quickly, as if it could sense the danger and instinctively wanted to escape. He looked at Princess Ming and, and tried to sound her out. Why not your Princess Highness return first? If there is any news. This official will inform your Princess Highness the next day. You are taking Ben Gong for a ride? Princess Ming and thundered in rage. Ben Gong already personally came down, and now you are telling Ben Gong to return? Zi Chang Wu, Ben Gong can make you lose your head anytime. Seeing Princess Ming in that fierce and violent, Zi Chang Wu could only smile bitterly and no longer speak but he seemed to have heard footsteps outside. Princess Mingan's face brightened, he is here. Both of them walked to the bow of the boat to see, and saw that there was an entourage of black-clad people walking on the frozen surface of the lake. These black-clad people were covered from the top to the bottom and only their eyes were revealed, thus one was unable to see their appearance at all. Princess Ming and said, this is indeed done very secretly. Her gaze then swept across the entourage of people before frowning, where is Shen Miao? These black clad figures all had the stature of a man, and there were no signs of Shen Miao's whereabouts. Princess Ming and turned to look at Zi Chang Wu in annoyance. Zi Chang Wu, what is going on? When Zi Chang Wu looked at the ten oncoming people in black, he instinctively felt his back gone cold. These ten individuals did not seem to come with good intentions. Not to mention that Zi Chang Wu did not even see Zi Chang Zhao among this group of people. Zi Chang Wu wanted to escape but in this icy cold place, the Wan Li Lake was frozen and it would be slippery to walk on its icy surface. Moreover the surface of the lake was large and there was nothing in which one could take shelter, so how could it be easy to escape? Seeing Princess Ming and not pleased, Zi Chang Wu boldly shouted out. Who are you people? The ten oncoming black clad people did not speak and moved closer to them. Princess Ming and finally realized that something was not right and asked Zi Chang Wu, they are not Zi Chang Zhao's people? Zi Chang Wu's heart was frantic, and he did not know how to answer Princess Ming'an's question and only said, one does not see third younger brother. Princess Ming and said, Outrageous. Still do not kneel down after seeing Bing Gong. Those people seemed to be deaf and continued to come closer. The guard by Princess Ming and side pulled out his sword, and rushed towards the black clad people to protect the princess, and they began to fight at close quarters. Princess Ming and finally understood that the oncoming people in black had ill intention. She suddenly thought about something and looked towards the outside of the lake. Secret guards? Where are my secret guards? When Princess Ming'an came over, she did not want others to hear the conversation between her and the Z brothers, 
Thus she only brought one person but the rest of the people did not left, and were at a distance away from the pleasure boat. However with the current big disturbance, they should already be alerted and come over, so why was there no one? As Princess Ming and was in a fluster, Zi Chang Wu was likewise. He did not come over by himself and planted some subordinates in either side of the pleasure boats, so as to prevent any mishaps occurring. But why was there no activity at all? Where were his people? The only guard Princess Ming and had, was very quickly thrown aside by the black clad people with his face cut into stripes. Large drops of cold sweat quickly formed on the foreheads of Princess Ming and Zi Chang Zhao. Who are you? Princess Ming and suppressed the fear in her heart, Bing Gong is the princess of the great kin. If you leave now, Bing Gong will overlook this misdeed, else in the future do not blame older crown prince brother for chastising. Zi Chang Wu did not know to be afraid, or to scold Princess Ming and for being a stupid fool for even identifying herself out. However thinking about it, it was obviously a trap today and one fear that the other party was already aware of Princess Ming An's identity, but one still did not know about the whereabouts of Princess Ming An's letter. But what could they do about it? Zi Chang Wu knew that one could not call for help here, not mentioning if others were to hear it, even if others discovered them. He was an official of the Ming Chi, and to be with the Princess of the Ken country in the middle of the night at the Wanli Lake, no matter how many mouths he had, it could not be clarified. With no room to advance or retreat, Zi Chang Wu unexpectedly calmed down. He looked at the other party and sneered. The offense of conspiring to harm a princess of a country is not light. If your distinguished selves does not fear death then by all means try. Have a taste of being chased to the four corners of the earth, and be like stray dog that live each day in fear. With Zi Chang Wu's words. Princess Ming An's heart was slightly comforted. Although she was also afraid, but with the background of being a princess of a country, other people would not dare to do anything to her. Correct. This Bing Gong's identity, it is not what you people can touch. Today if you all dare to touch Bing Gong, in the future the Kin country's imperial family will definitely grind your bones to dust. Really? Suddenly a male voice rang out from among the people clad in black. That voice was low and a bit husky, but it was like a warm wine in the cold winter, making others feel good when hearing it. Princess Ming and Zi Chang Zhao looked over and saw that among the black clad people, there was one person who came forward. Because they were all clad in black, one was unable to see them clearly. Currently one felt that this black clad person was somewhat different from the others. Under the weak light. That person's stature was significantly taller that even when wearing the same clothing as the rest, it could not hide his noble air, as if this could be discerned with a glance. Who are you? Princess Ming and said furiously, Do not you know who Bing Gong is? Bing Gong is the princess of the great kin. With Bing Gong's order, one can make all of you lose your heads. Hearing this, that person in black paused but started to chuckle. Even if one was unable to see the other party's face due to the cloth covering, his laughter was obviously joyful. However Zi Chang Wu and Princess Minutes and could hear the ridicule and mockery through the cloth. Princess Mingan's face flushed red as she had never been that insignificant before. However there were some doubts in her heart as she felt that this person's voice was familiar and seemed to have heard it somewhere before. However one was unable to remember where had one heard it from. She asked, what are you laughing at? Laughing at you overestimating your capabilities. You. Princess Ming and was furious. Just a princess of the kin country. What significance is this? That person's voice was good to listen but the words were vile, as usual a heap of white bones when dead. Audacious. Princess Ming and shouted out, This prince is audacious, what can you do? The person said without a rush, This prince? Princess Ming and was startled, but in a flash she suddenly thought of another person. That person's voice was as mesmerizing as this. She looked over and was unable to see the person's face due to the cloth, but the pair of eyes that was exposed was as intoxicating as peach blossom wine. It was as if there was a sentimental smile in the eyes but when one seriously looked at them, they were filled with indifference. You are, His Highness Prince Ruai. 
Princess Ming and cried out involuntarily. His Highness Prince Rui, Zi Chang Wu looked swiftly at the black-clad man. He also felt that the black-clad person was familiar, as if one had seen him somewhere before, but he had never thought that it was His Highness Prince Rui of the Great Liang. The black-clad person did not admit nor deny. But there was some sense of acquiescence when looking at them. Zi Chang Wu hesitated for a bit before asking, For what reason does your highness Prince Ru I come here for? Even if Zi Chang Wu cracked his brains thinking, he was not able to think why Prince Ru I would appear here. One knew that there was no relations between him and Prince Ru I, and there also seemed to be no contact between him and Princess Ming and either. So why would he appear here? And to do what? After Princess Ming and recognized that the person in front was Prince Rui, the fears that she felt disappeared, and in a flash her voice was filled with tenderness as she said softly, For your highness Prince Rui to come here at such a late night, what is it for? Zi Chang Wu felt that Princess Ming and was really stupid. Since the other party had already killed all the guards that both of them brought, it was apparent that he was not here to rekindle about the past. Moreover this Prince Rui gave the feeling of danger to others, this made Zi Chang Wu's heart tremble. Prince Rui ignored Princess Ming and, and instead looked at Zi Chang Wu. You seem to have something to ask this prince? Zi Chang Wu forced a smile. One dared to ask your highness, if one had seen my third younger brother, that letter had Zi Chang Zhao's handwriting but the person who came was Prince Rui. Could it be that Zi Chang Zhao fell into Prince Rui's hands? What conflicts did Zi Chang Zhao had with Prince Rui? The black clad man laughed, seen before. Zi Chang Wu's eyes widened, he was killed by me. As soon as the words were spoken, Princess Ming and and Zi Chang Wu were simultaneously startled and could not help but shudder. After a long pause Zi Chang Wu then asked, Why did your highness Prince Ru I kill my third younger brother? He messed with people that he should not mess with. Messed with people that he should not mess with. Zi Chang Wu's heart was in doubt. Could it be Shen Miao? The only person Zi Chang Zhao offended would be Shen Miao. But why did Prince Ru I stick out for Shen Miao? Is there some secret relationship that was going on with Prince Ru I and the Shen family? Zi Chang Wu felt like he had stumbled onto a earth shattering secret iceberg, but because he was unable to see the overall picture, he was totally confused with it. For your highness Prince Ru I to come, one do not know what would be the matter? Princess Ming and finally awakened when she hear the other person had killed Zi Chang Zhao, and seemed to be finally aware of the dangers that was posed by the darkness of the night. She tried to probe by talking, but her heart started to beat fiercely. That person's voice was as soft as the wind, but was like the snow that was falling down from the skies onto the Wan Li Lake. It was very beautiful but made one feel cold. He said, is not it good for such a beautiful scenery to be the place where one is buried? Zi Chang Wu said, Why are you doing this? There is no animosity or grievances between you and me. Can you let us off? He obviously knew that the other party had murderous intent, but he had no way out. Zi Chang Wu finally was unable to hold back the fear in his heart and cried out, No animosity or grievances? The other party seemed to have heard a joke. You are a bit too forgetful. Zi Chang Wu felt that these words were somewhat familiar and immediately following that, he saw the black clad person slowly pulling off the cloth covering his face. Even the extremely faint and weak light, was unable to conceal the brilliance from this person. The long eyebrows, straight nose and thin lips were per usual and the pair of peach blossom eyes was looking over filled with ridicule. It was clearly a gentle smile but had a touch of contempt. That was the biggest nightmare of Zi Chang Wu's life. Zi Jing Xing, Princess Ming and was indulging herself in that charming look, and was thinking that Prince Ru Ai's face was indeed as astonishing as the rumors said, but was interrupted by Zi Chang Zhao's cries. Zi Jing Xing, was not that the Zi family's the son of the residence of the Marquis of Linen, that died two years ago in the battlefield, and also the one that made one sigh in admiration? It is tough for you to still remember me. Zi Jing Xing smiled gently. That originally handsome smile now looked exceptionally scary in Zi Chang Wu's eyes. He turned around and wanted to flee. This was the instinct that was brought out from his bones, 
just like a subconscious reaction of a prey to danger, one's brain would not comprehend if it was possible or not. His body was held down by others with his mouth stuffed and his entire body unmovable. Princess Mingan also had the same fate as him. The pleasure boat was floating in the middle of the Wandli Lake, deep in the middle of the night at Zixi, modern timing, 11 p.m., 1 a.m., there was not a single person on the streets. Even the restaurant that was lit far in the distance was drowned in its dance and music, that even the sound here would be like a stone falling into a pond, whom splashes would not be heard as it slowly sink down. Zi Chang Wu and Princess Mingan were held down by the black-clad people, and could only watch as the person in charge walked out of the pleasure boat. Even on the icy surface, he walked with an overflowing grace, and his voice was as cold as the snow falling onto the Wanli Lake, chilling one's heart. The game has ended. Shin Miao woke up in the middle of a dream. One did not know why, but tonight's sleep was rather tedious. Thus at this moment one just simply woke up. There was not a trace of movement outside, as if the night was sleeping deeply. She rubbed her forehead and felt some pain in her mind but she was unable to sleep no matter what. The brazier in the room was boring hot and she felt stuffiness in her chest. After thinking about it, she took a cloak nearby and casually wore it before opening the window, wanting to get rid of the stuffiness in her heart. When the windows were opened, the shadow of the the big tree in front was whirling. It was still snowing outside and large pieces of snow were falling down and some were blown into the room. Shin Miao stretched one of her hand out to watch the snowflake slowly melt in her palm. One did not know why but there was some sense of loneliness. In such a night to not be able to sleep and watch the snow alone with a cloak, it was somewhat fake. But her mind could not help but think about some matters in her past lifetime. For instance Wan Yu and Fu Ming and all the pain from those old wounds that were concealed in her heart started to resurface. A little flower fluttered down from the skies and fell onto Shen Miao's palm. Shen Miao was startled, and used the lantern that was hanging on the tree to look carefully at it. It was not a snowflake but a crimson begonia. How would there be begonia in this season? This tree did not grow begonia too. Shen Miao unconsciously looked up and saw that in the shadows of the tree. There was a person who was lying with his hands behind one's head, like a contented youth. Seeing her looking over, that person lowered his head slightly and looked at Shen Miao from top to bottom. His brows were handsome as he laughed frivolously, Why are you dazed? Shen Miao said, What are you doing here? Without any rhyme or reason, Zi Jing Xing just ran over to others' courtyard and sleep on the trees. This Prince Rui of the Great Liang's habits were really too queer. Cannot sleep. That person sighed and suddenly jumped off from the tree, and landed in front of Shen Miao before leaning against the window. One was outside the window, the other was inside the window. He placed something on Shen Miao's palm and pouted, broke off flowers and came over to give them to you. But one fear that you have fallen asleep, so one waited up in the tree for you to wake. Shin Miao rolled her eyes at his babbling nonsense, but saw that even though this person was smiling, the expression today was not like the past. Her heart moved and Shen Miao did not know why she blurted out, Come in. There are snacks in the room. 